Hello, I'm Nariman Farvardin, president of Stevens Institute of Technology. We recently concluded our spring semester and I am filled with great optimism and renewed hope for the future. As the country emerges from the global coronavirus pandemic, I honor our resilient students, faculty, administrators, and staff, and our devoted alumni and friends who for the past year have embodied the Stevens motto, per aspera ad astra, through adversity to the stars. Despite many challenges in our professional and personal lives, we have persevered, working so hard to ensure that the state of the university remains strong. I am proud to say that Stevens is now poised to continue its advancement to higher levels of distinction and prominence. We are excited as we prepare for a full return to normal operations this fall, with the summer serving as a transition period. But first, I wish to look back on what has been a remarkably successful spring semester, one in which, despite many challenges, our university has actually thrived. Undergraduate applications exceeded 11,300, the largest number in the history of the university, with a significant growth in the diversity and academic profile of students. In particular, we've seen a remarkable increase in the number of women and underrepresented minority students who have decided to enroll at Stevens, up 31% and 50% respectively. As a strong indication of renewal and continued growth, we are now seeking to hire 29 new faculty members this fall to help the university tackle important problems of global significance and to further our teaching mission. Our faculty and students continue important research during the pandemic, and I'm proud to report that sponsored research awards will likely reach $46 million this year, a very similar level to last year's record-breaking total. The incredibly successful power of Stevens campaign has played a pivotal role in our university's continued fiscal health and its hope for the future. We are working very hard to reach and possibly exceed our $200 million goal before June 30th, but we are still not there. So we ask all members of our community and our alumni and friends to help us meet this important target and help ensure the bright future of the university and its students. Please remember, our target date is June 30th, 2021. One soaring symbol of Stevens' future is our magnificent University Center complex. Excellent progress has been made on this iconic project as we remain on budget and actually slightly ahead of schedule. We we'll look forward to its opening in spring 2022. For this spring's annual Innovation Expo, we held a hybrid event with more than 700 students and 210 student-led design teams participating virtually and in person. The Ansari Entrepreneurship Competition, our popular student pitch competition, saw 12 design teams compete with three outstanding teams recognized. For the class of 2021, we were thrilled to be able to hold in-person commencement ceremonies. Over three days this May, we held eight smaller ceremonies at the Meadowlands Expo Center in Secaucus, New Jersey. From the undergraduate class, we honored nine students who earned a perfect 4.0 and shared the distinction of being first in their class, an incredible accomplishment for so many students. We also welcomed honorees and keynote speakers, Dr. Giovanni Coforio, the CEO of Bristol Myers Squibb at the undergraduate commencement, and Dr. Alan Goodman, president of the Institute of International Education at the graduate commencement. Congratulations to the class of 2021, who included nearly 700 bachelor's degree recipients and more than 1,000 graduate degrees this spring. In closing, I want to express my profound respect and gratitude to all members of the Stevens community who showed such strength and determination this year. I am prouder of you than I can ever say, and I look forward to seeing you on campus in the near future and wish you a healthy and happy summer. Thank you very much.